back to my channel. I'm Lindy, if you guys are new to my channel. Um, welcome. Today's video is gonna be a recipe video for my pumpkin sausage soup. And it's something I usually make this time of year, every year. It's a nice, warm, comfort food. Um, sometimes I make it with butternut squash. Um, sometimes I make it with roasted pumpkin. Sometimes I use canned pumpkin. It just depends on what I have and um, what I feel like doing. So let's get into the video and I will show you how to make it. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do for this recipe is get two of these uh, pork sausage rolls into the pan and get all this sausage brown. I'm gonna do that and then I'll show you what we're gonna do next. Sausage is almost brown. Um, and in this pot, I have put a cup of bone broth that I made. I'm going to put a cup of heavy whipping cream, a can of pumpkin, I'm gonna put a tablespoon of chopped freeze-dried onions, some garlic powder, some cumin, some nutmeg, some pink salt, and some pepper. And I'm gonna mix all that up in here. And then we will add the sausage back in. Heavy cream, chicken is in. And I will be adding some more water and broth to this because obviously this is not enough for soup. Um, but I'm waiting until I get it combined really well and then see how much more I need. I don't like to make it too watery. I like it to be more creamy, so that's why I'm doing it a little at a time. So now I'm going to go ahead and add my spices. Spices are in. I'm going to go ahead and heat this up, get it combined and all incorporated and nice and creamy, and then I'll see how much more liquid I need to add to it. All right, everything is nice and incorporated. Um, the white specks you see on top are the freeze-dried onions. As soon as they get um, rehydrated, they're gonna mix in with the rest of the soup mixture. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add the sausage back in, and we will let this come to a boil and let it simmer for a while and thicken up and see if I wanna add more liquid. All right, so this has been simmering for a couple of minutes. I went ahead and added one dollop, big dollop, about a cup probably, of sour cream in here. I'm gonna mix that up just to give it a little bit more creaminess um, without using the heavy whipping cream. Um, and that way it's not quite as many carbs as adding more heavy whipping cream. But it gives it a nice richness. So I kinda like it with the sour cream as well. Um, so I'm gonna do that. And then we're gonna add in, in a little while, after it simmers a little bit longer, we're gonna add in some spinach, some fresh spinach. So I'm gonna get this stirred up and let it simmer. So I just turned this back down to low. This is gonna calm down here in a second. Um, it's been simmering. I'm going to throw in a few handfuls of fresh spinach into this and I'm just going to leave them on top like that and then I'm going to put the lid on it and I'm just going to leave it alone and let that spinach wilt. All right, the spinach is all wilted and all uh, combined. So uh, I'm just going to let this sit here on warm until we eat and then I'll show you what it looks like all, uh, I wanted to say plated up, but in a bowl <laughs> and all finished. All right guys, here is the finished product. The goat cheese on top. And you can see the sausage in there. It's going to be so good. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Put down in the comments down below if you have made it before, or if you've liked it, if you have a similar recipe that you and your family made. Um, I love pumpkin, I love this time of year. Um, as far as pumpkin recipes for eating, I'm not that big on pumpkin spice coffee that much as I said in one of my videos a couple weeks ago, but I do drink it sometimes, but I really like pumpkin in other things. So, um, I hope you enjoy this. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Please remember to like and to subscribe down below if I can learn to talk, right? <laughs> and I will see you soon.